Hello everyone, here I am again with more exercises from Russian speech therapists. Today I'm going to show you how to pronounce Russian sh sound. Stay with me to learn more. First, a quick test if you are capable of pronouncing Russian sh or not. I want you to put your tongue into a cup shape, like that. Imagine that you can put something there. Look here. Mm-hmm. You see? That deep tongue. Like that. If you can do that, it's perfect. Wait another minute and I will show you what to do next. If you cannot make your tongue look like that, don't worry, you'll learn how to do it. You will need a spoon and you'll just make your tongue have that shape. Like this. I want you to stick your tongue out and press it with the teaspoon to your upper lip, like that. Hmm? And maybe you will need to press really hard, because some people have uh, problems doing that, especially if you have tongue tie. I mean, you have that short thing under, under your tongue. Here, be careful, don't put too much stress on your tongue, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe you will make uh, gliding movements like that. Mm -hmm. So be careful. If you're feeling uh, some pain there, relax. Don't need to be in a hurry, okay? Just maybe more days doing that than hurting yourself, okay? After you've learned how to make your tongue look like a cup, mm -hmm. like that, I want you to make a couple of exercises. Number one, you stick your tongue out, make it look like a cup, and breathe and count to four. One, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, four, back. Have a look. Back. Back. Do it for 30 seconds. You really need those muscles to work. Next step, imagine that something, maybe a snowflake, is uh, on the tip of your nose and you want to uh, make it fly from there, like that. You really need to feel the air here. Not here, not somewhere here, on the tip of your nose, okay? Try it. Put your tan out and breathe. Okay, practice it. It's really difficult. Seems easy, but actually it's not. Next step. You put cup-shaped tongue behind your teeth. Try it. Put it behind your teeth. Mm -hmm. If you open your mouth doing that, you will see the opposite son side of your tongue. Mm -hmm. Like that. And now I want you to exhale while putting your tongue there. Try. And that's when you will have Russian hard sound. Also, there is another way of having that sound. And here we will need the spoon again. If you know how to pronounce s, sound, and I guess almost everyone knows how to do it, I want you to make a long s, and while doing that long s, move your tongue deeper in your mouth, like that, and you will hear sh coming. So let's try it, long s. Hear that, that s turned to sh when you moved your tongue a little bit deeper. The most important part is that you need to understand where exactly your tongue is in your mouth after you'd moved it. So next time you'll be able to put it right there to start with sh sound. After you've learned how to pronounce the isolated sh, try to combine it with vowels. Sha, sho, shu, she, osh, ash, ush, esh, 
and then asha, osho, ushu, and maybe other combination, usha, shou, asho. Use your imagination. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more Russian lessons. Bye-bye.